Hello and uh, welcome uh, to a brand new episode of uh, The Daily Debate. My name is Ahmed Nader and uh, tonight we're going to focus on the participation of Foreign Minister Samah Shukri in the Non-Aligned Movement Summit and the meetings of uh, this summit which took place in uh, Uganda and more specifically in the capital uh, Kampala on behalf of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Hassisi and uh, the speeches and the statements made uh, by the Foreign Minister Samah Shukri regarding the Egyptian stance over the Israeli aggression uh, on the Gaza and its uh, repercussions and impacts on uh, the Horn of Africa and the Middle East in general. And uh, of course we will be starting straight away with uh, the top stories for today which came through the presidential activities of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. As uh, President al-Sisi on Sunday said that Egypt will not allow any threat to the sovereignty of Somalia describing the Egyptian-Somali relations as uh, historical and strong. We will be having more details regarding uh, the meeting of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi today in Egypt with uh, his uh, Somali counterpart in the upcoming report. So stay tuned. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Sunday warned that Egypt will not allow anyone to threaten Somalia after a controversial maritime deal between rival Ethiopia and the breakaway region of Somaliland. Addressing a joint conference with visiting Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud in Cairo, President al-Sisi said Egypt supports the unity and integrity of Somalia and expressed rejection to the deal between Somaliland and Ethiopia. The president also said the Horn of Africa country is also an Arab country with rights in the Arab League Charter for Joint Defense. The head of state also said that Cairo supports Mogadishu in its fight against terrorism and rejects any attempt to intervene in the internal affairs of the fellow Arab country. For his part, the Somali president said ties with Egypt are based on mutual respect and their cooperation in development and construction is thought to continue. President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud stressed that partnership will Egypt will expand to all fields and is not a threat to any other country. He said Somalia will not allow any country to take any part of its lands, whether Ethiopia or any other country. The Somali president added that all countries should seek dialogue in dealing with each other away from the language of threats or in endangering the security of others. Earlier, President Sisi played host to the Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud with a red carpet reception ceremony at Al Ittihadeh Presidential Palace in Cairo. The two presidents were greeted by guards of honor, while military bands chanted the national anthem of both countries. They held talks that focused on boosting bilateral ties in various domains. The discussion also covered regional developments. Somali President Hassan Sheikh is leading a high-level delegation in a visit to Egypt upon an invitation from President Abdel Fattah Hassisi. As uh, for the second item of uh, the top stories for tonight, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri heads to Brussels in an official visit presiding over the Egyptian delegation in the 10th meeting of the Partnership Council between Egypt and the European Union on Monday. The meeting will be headed by Foreign Minister Shukri and the European Union Foreign Policy Chief, Josep Borrell, with the participation of a number of EU foreign ministers. This meeting coincides with the 20th anniversary of enacting the partnership agreement between Egypt and the European Union in 2004. The meeting is due to witness the signing of an agreement that will enable Egypt to benefit from more European Union technical programs, especially in the educational and the scientific research fields. And uh, turning in the upcoming report uh, to the main presidential activities of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Hassisi over the past week. So stay tuned.
President Abdel Fattah Sisi received Mr. Wang Yi, member of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China and Minister of Foreign Affairs in the presence of Mr. Semah Shukri, Minister of Foreign Affairs and a number of senior Chinese officials, in addition to the Chinese ambassador to Cairo. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a meeting with Mr. Rudolf Sade, CEO of the French international shipping company CMA CGM, in the presence of Dr. Mustafa Madbouri, Prime Minister, Lieutenant General Kemal Al Wazir, Minister of Transport, Lieutenant General Usama Robia, Chairman of the Suez Canal Authority, and Mr. Patrice Bergamini, first Vice President of the French company. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received the Greek Minister of Foreign Affairs, George Gerpetritis, in the presence of Mr. Semah Shokri, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece conveyed the greetings of the Greek Prime Minister to Mr. President, stressing the keenness of his country to enhance cooperation with Egypt in all fields. During his meetings, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi followed up on the state's efforts to develop agricultural cooperation with the African continent in line with the direction to support regional integration mechanisms. In this regard, Mr. President was briefed on the challenges confronting the Egyptian public and private investments in the continent and the state's vision to support those investments. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received a phone call from the Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte that addressed the regional situation where Mr. President reviewed the intense humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. Mr. President stressed the continuation of the ongoing war in the Gaza Strip, opening the way for the conflict to expand, threatening regional and international security, stressing the importance of the international community urgently pushing for a ceasefire and protecting civilians. Welcome back. You're still watching uh, the Daily Debate. And, uh, of course, we will be heading uh, to the first report of uh, the Daily Debate uh, for tonight regarding the topic of uh, the episode. As I mentioned in the beginning, that we will be focusing on uh, the activities and the statements and the speeches made by Foreign Minister Samah Shukri during his participation in uh, the Non-Aligned Movement Summit in uh, Uganda, and more specifically in the capital, Kampala, on behalf of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Hassisi. And in the upcoming report, we will be concentrating on the statements made by Foreign Minister Samah Shukri regarding the destabilizing actions that are going straight away in the Middle East that could be impacting as well the whole of Africa countries. All this and more in the upcoming report, so stay tuned. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri warned against actions that undermine stability in the Horn of Africa and increase tensions between African countries, calling for concerted efforts to contain regional crises instead of perpetuating a policy that irresponsibly fuels conflicts. Speaking before the member states at the 19th summit of the Non-Aligned Movement, Shukri pointed out the scarcity of water in Egypt, calling for cooperation and respect for rules of international law regarding transboundary waterways instead of unilateral measures that do not consider the economic, social and environmental impacts on all parties and further threaten the regional stability. Shukli affirmed Egypt's solidarity with Sudan and its people, expressing deep concern about the ongoing military confrontations and reiterating Egypt's call for all parties to prioritize great interest of Sudan, commit to ceasefire and resort to dialogue. He also noted that Egypt had received more than 350,000 Sudanese citizens since the beginning of the Sudanese crisis, adding that Egypt had launched Sudan's neighboring country's mechanism to support Sudanese national vision to resolve the crisis. Moreover, he stressed Egypt's full support for the unity of the Somali territories and Somalia's sovereignty over its entire territory, expressing Egypt's condemnation of any unilateral measures taken by any regional party to threaten the unity and integrity of Somalia.
During his speech, Shukri noted that the Middle East is currently witnessing widespread crisis as a result of Israel's brutal war and fierce aggression on Gaza Strip, which left more than 24,000 deaths, and most of them are women and children. He further said that destruction has reached an unprecedented level in Gaza, sparing no medical, humanitarian, or basic infrastructure facilities, as well as places of worship and targeting individuals in medical and humanitarian fields, UN employees, and journalists. These violations have forced more than 1.6 million Palestinians in Gaza to displacement facing Israeli practices of siege, starvation, hindering humanitarian aid, persistent violations of international law and international humanitarian Law. Moreover, he called on the NAM to adhere to its historical stances, condemn the illegitimate Israeli practices, and reject displacement of Palestinian people and liquidation of their crisis. Shukri emphasized that peace and security in the Middle East cannot be achieved without ending Israeli occupation, Israel's withdrawal from all occupied Arab territories establishment of an independent Palestinian state over the 4th of June 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. Shukri, who is leading the Egyptian delegation at the 19th NAM summit at Ugandan capital Kampala on behalf of President Fatah Sisi, held bilateral meetings with several counterparts during the summit taking place on 19th and 20th of January. The NAM was founded in 1961 and it includes 120 member states and is headquartered in central Jakarta, Indonesia.